Xavier. Let's hear it for him. Come on. Woo! I don't even come on. Yeah, so David, I hear you were here briefly when you were five years old. Any memories of that? No, I don't really remember much when I was five when I came here. <laughs> <laughs> you admire that in the crowd, then? How do you find that with all the fans? I guess you have a lot of them coming up to you, throwing themselves at you both. Um, <laughs> no, no, but I mean, people just come up for photos and autographs, and it's really great that they support the show. I mean, it's what keeps us going, so we really appreciate it. Excellent. Now, we're obviously here at the show. What's your favourite part about coming to the show? Um, the rides and the show bags. The fairy floss. Yeah, the fairy floss. <laughs> and to meet and you to guys. And to the fans, obviously. <laughs> now, you guys, you've been on the show since the start of this year. And Tessa, you came on board in April last year. What was it like for you both when you got the phone call to say, hello, you're going to be on Home and Away? Oh, it was amazing. It was, it was the best thing that's ever happened to me. And it's the best job in the world, really. And we all get along so well and have so much fun. It doesn't, it doesn't even feel like work. So I'm very appreciative of my job. What yeah. was it like for you, David? Well, you couldn't wipe the smile off my face when I found <laughs> out. I was ecstatic. So happy. And, um, yeah, it's such a wonderful show. I work with a great cast and crew. So, yeah, it's awesome. Now, uh, Jesse, you've been on Neighbours before. What was that like? Um, yeah, well, that was my first real television experience, and I was about 13, and I played a blind girl, and, um, yeah, it, it was great. It really got me into it, and it, it um, confirmed to me how much I love being an actress, and that's what I want to do for the rest of my life, so it was, it was great. And how do the shows compare? I do like um, Home and Away a little bit better, just because it's hotter and it's the beach and and my character is really really fun and the people are great. Um, so yeah. And you guys both surf as well, so you're actually hardcore beach bumps. Oh, I don't surf. <laughs> <laughs> I can't surf. Um, I'm a I'm a bodyboarder and I start, kind of surf sometimes. Yeah. And you, I guess, surf. Um, I know. I love the water, I swim. I'm not, I'm not one of those girls who won't get in the water. <laughs> no, sure. Now, uh, you guys, uh, you know, what's it like, I guess, coming around to all these cities? It must be quite crazy going from city to city. What's your schedule like? Um, well, we work Monday to Friday, um, and we get the weekends off, and, and we do things like just come down to Adelaide or go to Melbourne or Queensland. Um, but we, kept, we flew in this morning, and we're going back tonight, and then back to work on Monday, so it's pretty crazy, but... You know, with what we like to do and if it's just busy. And David, what's the average day on a set like? I mean, is it all glamorous and, you know, servants running around, getting your bottled water from Asia? No. No. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's quite the opposite, actually. But it's, it's a really good crew, so, and cast, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not glamorous at all, really. Yeah. You should see our green room. It's like a little couch and then a lot of rubbish and, like, rotten fruit from, like, people chucking it around the green room. Yeah, we're a bit messy at home and away. Sounds like my lounge room. Yeah, it's kind of messy. Uh, now, you live with Lincoln Lewis, right? Yes, I do. All right, who's a big fan of Lincoln Lewis out there? <laughs> What's he like to live with? Uh, he's great. No, he's really down to earth and we get along really well. We just chill, relax and we sit there, have a little chat and start work. The good thing is we don't have much of a storyline together so we don't have to put up with each other 24-7. So. <laughs> now that's the sanitised version. I want to know what is it really like, you know. He walks around with his top off a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I keep my top on. Now, who does the most housework? It's pretty easy. Even the house is pretty messy at the moment though. I think you don't his want to go to the house. <laughs> no, you do, you do. Hey, we got an air hockey table now, so it's pretty oh, awesome. Oh, wow, town. We're all going back to his place after this, right? <laughs> so tell me, David, you're from a bit of a show business family. You're uh, your dad's an actor, your mum's uh, was doing some modelling as well previously. Yeah, yeah. What's it like with your dad? Do you share tips with him? Do you give him tips on or do you give him tips? Yeah, we well, share tips. I don't give him tips, but um, I used to come, he used to train me, we used to have like an ensemble of actors every Saturday where he'd train us and stuff like that, and I'd come to him with a scene and work with him and stuff like that, but we would clash heads quite a lot <laughs> when we would do that, so I tend not to work with him anymore, but yeah, no, he's great, he's a big supporter, and my mum was on the Benny Hill show, so... Really? He, yeah. What so, does she do on that? 
she was one of the show, one of those girls or something. I never watched it because I was wow. too young. So. <laughs> you have to get the tapes out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're quite gifted musically as well from what I understand. What are you doing? Oh, um. <laughs> get her to sing the theme song. Oh, no, 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 no,